So, you do what you want to do. But as for me and my hair, we pumping up, Pioneer. Hey, you guys. So, I'm looking so rough. I know, but um, I have had a lot of people ask me in other videos of how I achieve my little um, big curly hair. So I said, why don't I just come on here and make a video? So I have already washed my hair um, and blow dry it. And ah, jeez. So this is my hair washed and blow dried. I took it upon myself to trim my ends and that's what I did because that's my business. Shout out to Tabitha Brown, okay? But um, yeah, so I washed and blow dried my hair. Again, I look type crazy, so don't judge me. Um, I just want to show y'all. Let me put this back in the way, y'all. I want to show you guys the products that I use to achieve this um, blow dry. So there you go. So um, I shampooed my hair. The whole entire product line that I used was the Cream of Nature's um, product line. And I shampooed my hair with this cream of nature shampoo. I use their conditioner uh, during the conditioning time. And my hair, I took those cynical leaves that you guys have been seeing in all my videos. I took those out. So I also did a hair mask. So the hair mask looks like this. Um, so what I did is before I shampoo my hair, I put a conditioner in. So I put the conditioner in, let it sit in a plastic bag. I sat for like 10 minutes with the conditioner in just to like soften my hair before I use any type of shampoo. So after I condition, I put the shampoo in and then I went in with my hair mask. Again, there's the hair mask. Um, I went in with the hair mask and I put like, I section my hair into eight twists and I just put the product in it all the way through uh, from the roots to the ends. I detangled it, twisted it up, put a, uh, another bag on my head and I sat under my hooded dryer for 10 minutes on high. Washed it out, my hair was like, was like so, so, I can't talk. My hair was really, really, really soft um, from using this hair mask. This is my first time using this and I have only good things to say about this. When I went to bed, I did not blow dry my hair. I did the lock method and I braided my hair all the way down and I put rubber bands on it to stretch my ends. This morning I woke up and blow dried it. So the oil that I use is, um, I use grapeseed oil. This is the little brand one that I use. I only like this one because it smells really, really good. And I use peppermint oil on my scalp because I had a dry scalp and it was really itchy. This is from Target. I bought this yesterday. I just wanted to see what it was about. And it says, my man's best friend leave-in conditioner for curly and, cur for curly, and curly textures. Um, there's no sulfates in here, any, no parabens, no silicones, like none of that, none of that stuff. It really made my hair very, very soft and it made the blow drying process extremely easy. So if you're looking for some type of leave-in conditioner, I recommend this. You know what I wash my hair with? Now let's just get into this video. Oh, and the curling cream that I'm using is also cream of nature. So this is cream of nature twist uh, cream. I'm running low on here, so I hope this can get through my whole head. I'm going for a big soft look. So if you want like your, your curls to be a little bit tighter, I'll put a picture right here. If you want your curls like that, you want to use some type of satin lotion. Um, I'm not going to use satin lotion today because like I said, I want it big and fluffy. So, right, so um, I have completed a significant amount. Well, a lot of my hair already. So I said, let me just come back to you guys while I do this little section right here. So, um, I'll just show you how I do the twist. Well, how I do it. So with this, I'm sectioning pretty big pieces. So taking like pieces like that, <laughs> this is awkward. Pieces like that big. Um, and I'm just gonna put the rest in the ponytail. So I have my little piece and I'm gonna use my cream of nature curling cream. So I use that. I've already put oil on it, but I start on the ends and I'll just bring the product, working the product to the roots all the way up. I put a fair amount, but I don't want it so heavy that my hair starts to revert back to the curler, curly texture. Um, and I feel that this piece is a little drier, so I am using some of my Design Essentials Twist and Setting Spray. Um, so this is just like 
some spray that I use to add some type of water so my hair is not so dry and that it actually takes to the curl. So I just comb it through. I have that little piece of hair and I do the twist curl method. So grab it, gonna twist a few times down. Get that, comb that back out since I just twisted it, making sure that it's smooth all the way down. And since I blow dried it, it pre it's pretty smooth. Um, I next grab my roller. I'm gonna use the purple roller for this one. I twist the hair, the ends around the roller, and then I'm twisting and twisting the roller. Twist up, go up, twist the roller. And I twist the roller the entire time. I leave a little bit of space because I like a little bit of puffiness to my hair. And that's how I do it, so. All right, so once you are finished putting your rollers in, you will look something like this. So this is a close up of my roller. The back of my head, top, all that jazz. So got your rollers in. I'm going to, you can sleep with these in, um, but I'm gonna let mine sit just for a few hours and I will be back with you guys for the takedown. Hey guys, so I am back. I've had these twists sitting in my head for a couple hours. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take these down and see what they are looking like. So honestly, this doesn't take me long. Like, oh, look at her. I can already tell that my twists, see my hair, I got a little bit of hang time. Okay. But I can already tell my twists aren't going to be as loose as I want them to be. Um, but we will continue on. I just take them down gently. Um, I usually put oil on my hands before I unravel or take my twist out. But I didn't do it today. Okay, they're not going to be bad. I don't think so. I haven't done this in so long. So honestly, I was scared to do these twists. They don't feel dry. Uh, which sucks. Oh yeah, whenever I twisted it, I did use... Um, my design I don't know if I put this in the video but I used my design design essentials this is a natural twist and set in lotion so I use that on some of the twists um, that I just if they were too soft I put it on there just so it could take to the curl but as you can see they look kind of good I'm excited I haven't done my hair y'all in so long I've been in quarantine for like, two months so this is my first time doing my hair in a while and as you can see, the product, there's no product buildup. This looks so healthy. It's so pretty. All right, so once I take out all my twists, put oil on my hand. This is that grapeseed oil I mentioned in the beginning. Lather it up and just run it through my hair. So now I'm going to go through because I'm going to pin some of these up. So they're out of my way. And I'm going to go through now and I'm going to unravel the twist and separate every individual curl. So. First, unravel it. Some you can be gentle. I'm not really gentle with my hair. Um, I probably should be, but I'm not gonna unravel it too much because like this one barely has any curl. So this is what I'm gonna do. Just unravel it. Dang, the ones in the front they really didn't set right. Like, oh, whatever, whatever. I can make it work. I'm going to make it work. These glasses plus this hair made me look like somebody elementary school teacher, like, back in the 70s. No offense if your mama or grandma was a teacher. But I look like her. Big time. Big, big time. Okay. Let me go get myself together, and I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So this is the final project. Product. <laughs> of this project um so i went ahead and picked my hair like crazy like i told you i like volume i like big hair um so i put a little clip here just to i have a part 
because I like to have my hair separated to give that dramatic effect. You feel me? Um, so I hope you guys like this video. I mean, it came out great. I haven't done my hair in so long because we've been quarantined for so long, but why not look cute while you're in the house? So I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and leave me some comments down below on what you would like to see next, or if you tried this, or if you're going to try it, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on so you get a notification every single time I drop a banga. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Bye.